morning. Old fisherman back with you again. Late mama seller. Hey, <clears throat> it's a rainy, cloudy day, and you can see it really is. And uh, it's on uh, Thursday. And uh, we tried Monticello again. Let me tell you, I tried Monday and Tuesday and the fish did not bite after that cold spell. They draw so much water, draw the lake way down. A sudden draw to use power and I could not find the fish. They just did not bite. So I went to Lake Murray yesterday on Wednesday thinking I'd catch some there. Dropped out and caught two stripers at one time with a triple rig. I mean good ones. Luckily they didn't break off. And uh, and then I caught another one, but I couldn't get the camera on while I was fighting them two in. I wanted to have a film showing catching them two, but it, the camera, I just couldn't get it worked up, get it on. Uh, the wind was blowing. It was just too tough. I couldn't get it on while I had the fish on. And they were fighting me. But, uh, hey, I apologize for not having any videos last a whole week. I'm getting a couple bites. There's a couple fish down here, I think. They're little, I believe. Hopefully, we can get some bigger ones. They're, they're biting it. So at least today we're already getting some bites. Monday and Tuesday, you couldn't even get a bite. They had dropped this water so much drastically in all that cold weather, the fish just, just did not bite. I don't know. I got to figure out what they want today. I'm on fish and they're bumping and they ain't taking it. So we got to figure out what in the world they're going to want to bite today uh, first, and then we got to catch them. But I'm seeing some little, uh, some perch. I don't know what size. They ain't really want to bite. They bumping it, not taking it. So they might not take this triple rig. We might have to get the, the double rig out there and try to catch them. And I'm thinking they're little ones. And we might have to look around and we get some bigger, bigger perch. Don't know. All I know is we have had two bad, uh, actually three bad fishing trips. I did catch a couple in Lake Murray, but it wasn't enough to make a film yesterday. I didn't have it on when I should have had it on. I'm having a hard time. Everybody wants to know what happened to the old fisherman. Well, the old fisherman's having a hard time. Ever since that drastic cold weather and over here at Monticello, they draw the water. It has been tough. I don't mind telling you, tough. Last year, I don't remember tough days like that. But hey, ever so often, it gets like that in this lake. This lake is a funny lake. They either tearing it up or they ain't biting. And today we got real cloudy conditions. No guarantee they're gonna really eat it up today and then they might, you never know. They bumping my jig, they just ain't taking it. They bumping it. It's a dog on little that can't take it, I don't think. Uh, I believe I got a little one on. Keeps bumping, I can't hook him though. I'm thinking I got one pulling. Maybe I'll get one there. There's nothing. They finally got one. And that seems like a pretty good one. That seems like a pretty good one. Maybe we'll get them going here on Lake Monticello. Hey. Old fisherman needs some fish. There's a jumbo magnum like we've been looking for right there, and he's spitting up shad. That is a good sign. Maybe this day will be the day. All I got to say is, it, if it is, it's about time. Even though old fisherman has a hard time ever so often, I'm gonna tell you right now, this lake is not an easy lake. And, uh, and no, by no means is it an easy lake. I make it look easy, but let me tell you, it takes a lot of years of experience to make it look easy. And sometimes it is easy for anybody. Sometimes it ain't easy for nobody. And uh, I've had a couple bad days, and I'll be the first to tell you, it's, it's possible to come over here and have a bad day. And it's possible to come over here and tear them up. So that's the way fishing is. It ain't no guarantee every time you come that you're going to catch them. You got to, you got to change your, 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 your methods of fishing. You got to change around and do different things and, and hope that they're going to feed that day. And right now, we got a nice one on. It might be a good day today. Whole Lake Monticello. And it can't be none too, too early because I really need a good day. A jumbo magnum. Look at that. That just goes to show them suckers ain't biting in this lake. You can't catch them. If they biting, you can catch them. It's that simple. It's that simple. Drop it back down. See if we can get another one. On the lake I love sometimes, Lake Monticello. I got all kind of people emailing me wanting to know what happened to the old fisherman. Why ain't we gotten daggone videos? People, this ain't that easy. I know y'all think it is, but it ain't that easy. Hey, 
and I ain't making a fortune doing it. So, hey, it ain't, I'm retired. So we'll do it when, when they bite, okay? <laughs> I ain't no guarantee you're gonna have a video every day or every week, but I'm gonna try. You know, when they bite, I'll put them up. If they ain't biting, I won't put them up. Or if, some days I might not feel good. You know, might not go. I am getting older. And there's another one. Look at that. Hey, there's another Monticella Jumbo Magnum. And you got to love it. The old fisherman's back in the groove. Looks like they're going to bite a little bit today. Catching a few of these doggone perch that I do love to catch. Jumbo Magnum. Hey, we got the three rig on today. Today I got the Mr. Crab in the pink and a, a yellow at the top. And uh, and a doggone starlight slider jig in green at the bottom. And see, today I'm seeing fish on the bottom. The other day when I couldn't catch them, you couldn't find the fish on the bottom. The only thing you could see would be out 70, 80, 90 foot of water. So, hey, today they're going to bite. I got a feeling they're going to bite today. We're going to try to catch them. Finally, on Lake Monticello. We, we deserve a good day. There's been a couple bad ones. We deserve a good day. I'm telling you that right now. I deserve a good day. We're going to do the old Cumberland a circle swing and see if we can make one bite this thing. Oh, Lake Monticello. See if we can turn that thing and make him bite it. I want to try to dig on double rig too, just this, uh, the crappy jigs with no spoons, see what happens. They might bite it better. I don't know. I hadn't tried that when it got real cold. That's a kind of a swimming effect plug this is a I just dragging along real slow swimming at the bottom where the other one you got to come up and chase it and they might not chase it today ain't chasing this that great I'm catching a couple they ain't really eating it up there's, there's a bite they ain't really eating it up but we catching a few hey a few is all a man can ask for I got old Looney with me he's out here looking around I just hope they don't quit biting. I, I know how bad they can get on this lake, not biting. Okay, they bumping it. They bumping it. They definitely bumping it. They ain't eating it up, I'll tell you that. See, I caught them couple, now they want to relax a little bit. That's what they do, unless my jig is crooked. I got a little shallower, though. That might be the reason. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Jumbo Magnum. You've got to love it. That's a good one. Huh? Oh, my. That's a nice fish. That's a good one. You've been in that rod. That's got to be a jumbo. That's got to be a jumbo Magnum. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Lake Monticello. You've got to love it. Jumbo Magnum. Look at that. Huh? And it's spitting up shad. They're hitting the old pink. Better than they are the uh, slider jig. Hey, this might be the day to put the you got the love it jig or the uh, the uh, gup shrimp on. It's about time for me to go to all that. Drop it back down to the bottom with a big boy's lie. That's what we're gonna do. I love fishing, people. I love fishing. I've been going home in the evening, and my the neighbor's cleaning off a lot, and I've been uh, he, he using my splitter and cutting some wood. And splitting it for me, I got to haul it. But uh, using my uh, splitter and he's uh, cleaning off a, a area by my house and I've been hauling wood and I, so I hadn't been fishing that long. I've been going back to do that in the evening. But that wood hauling, I ain't got too old for wood hauling. My goodness, that's a lot of work. But I heat the wood and it was nice to get it. There's another, hey, they biting a little bit. You got to love a little bit, right? Oh my. That's a nice one. I believe we're going to catch them today, people. About time. That's all I got to say. It's about time. It's jumbo magnum. They biting today. Huh? One day to the next. You never know. Look at, look at the shad coming out the matter. They regurgitated from yesterday. So they've been biting. They must have beat yesterday, too, over here. See, I messed around with Lake Murray yesterday because I had such a bad day on Monday and Tuesday over here. So I went to make Lake Murray yesterday, and that was probably a bad move. One thing about this lake, you come over here a day or two straight and don't catch them, you know they're going to start biting before long. So they'll have to pump the water in overnight, and then that'll put them in a feed. Today it's about mid-range. Monday and Tuesday it was so low you could hardly unload your boat. So, And that had a lot to do with the fish not biting. It had everything to do with it. After that real cold spell, they went in a slump. They just did not bite. But 
we're going to catch a few today. I believe that. Hopefully. Oh, it's been, I've had such a hard time. I, I'm due. I know y'all want a video, but it's really mist and rain. I hope that camera ain't getting too wet. I, I really hope that. Thanks to all the t-shirt orders, I appreciate them, let me tell you. Uh, people's been ordering t-shirts after Christmas. I thought I'd have gotten orders before Christmas, but I've been getting orders after Christmas. I've been getting a lot of orders here lately, and I appreciate each and every one of you that's ordering. And uh, I didn't name you up, but uh, it's just too many to name right now. And, uh, and I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for supporting the old fisherman and, and buying his t-shirts, and I appreciate that. You know, I'm not making a lot of money. I just got to get my money back on them t-shirts. But we're getting, yeah, we're selling good men. We, I think Miss Deborah's out of the double extra large on the blue, but we got the extra large and medium and and and, uh, and large left on the blue. And make sure you subscribe when you look at my show. I like to get a lot of subscribers, and I appreciate it. And a thumbs up if you don't mind. And if you want to give me a thumbs down, do so. But just tell me why you've done it, and, I, and I'll try to change. But I'm doing the best I can do out here, a one-man show, uh, live action, and it's hard to do that, people, especially when the fish don't want to bite. I'm going to tell you right now, here lately, last year this time, I was killing the fish. That's before I even started doing my videos. I started doing my videos last year, I think the next week was the first video I'd done, and I was waxing myself. Hopefully they'll start back and, and do like they did last year. They slowed up a little bit. It's like these fish right here. I got on them and it was a bunch of them down there and I caught a few. Guess what? They wanted to quit. I don't see them. Let's beat the boat. Let's see if they'll bring them in. Give it a try. Caught a couple though. Gotta love a couple and keep them going. Right now I'm off of them. I don't see them. I'm going fish everywhere there for a little bit. So foggy, I can't see my bearings, so I didn't throw a buoy out. I'm just kind of hanging around the circle out right here, trying to get back on it. But hey, we caught a couple. That's already more than I caught that Monday or Tuesday together. That was bad days, people. Bad days. All right, let's see if we can focus and get back on these fish. I don't see them. I ain't got all of them. We got the focus. We have definitely got the focus. Move around and we get back on them. They moved on us up. We moved off of them, one or two. That's a possibility. Not being able to see the land's kind of foggy. Hey, if I can't see my points, I can't tell exactly where I'm at. There's a possibility I moved off of them. I tell you, I believe uh, you could go to Lake Murray and do that trolling with the planer board thing now and catch plenty of rockfish. They're getting into the creeks over there and, uh, and the stripers. And where I was at, it, some, it, I probably trolling would have been better if I just trolled with trolling motor with the three rig. And I, I just trolled, I, I dropped down to about 70 foot of water trying to find some perch. And I left my line there and just tried to pull about 100 yards real fast and, uh, and boom. I had one on the spoon, and I had one on the uh, uh, Mr. Crappy at the same time. So, hey, I figured I was gonna tear them up, but then I got off, they didn't, the school left out from under me, and I couldn't get back on them, caught one more, and that was all I caught yesterday. I couldn't get on any perch in Lake Murray. I don't know what happened to the perch. I don't know what happened to these perch right here. I was on them good, and I don't see them. So, it's gonna be like that. You're gonna catch a few, and they're gonna quit. We got to get them stirred back up. There were fish everywhere down there, and they just left. I, I, Loney's been diving, and I'm thinking, it's, these fish are starting to put two and two together. When Loon starts diving back and forth under your boat, I believe that these fish know that there's a fisherman up at that point. It used to be, it, it wasn't like that, but now it seems like every time Loney starts diving, the fish leave. So I'm thinking they're starting to, you know, wildlife ain't stupid. After a while, they put two and two together. 
If that loon is diving from one side to the other constantly waiting for me to throw a fish, and them daggone fishes down there looking at a loon dive back and forth, they know it's a boat up here. And it seems like they leave. Now, I don't know whether they're leaving from loony diving or if they're leaving from they see the loonies up here and they put two and two together, fishermen's up here. But it's something going on that used to didn't happen. I used to get on fish in cold weather like this and just kill them. We caught what? A few, and then they just left. I don't even see them. They left. They have fish everywhere. They left or either settled back down on the bottom, and they ain't biting. One or two is what happened. One or two. My jig's messed up right now. That's, that's probably what happened. Got a doggone knot in it. You know I hate a knot. Oh, God, ain't this something? This ain't good. This is not good here. Got lines tangled up. That's the only thing about it. If you work these jigs up and down too much, this is what happens. If you got a quarter ounce head, it makes it easier. It, it, it don't happen as bad, but I got one of these heads that's a doggone eighth of an ounce. And uh, it's probably causing the problem. There you go. Makes it a little knock. We got to get on some fish. But I want to get on here t and tell y'all and show y'all what I was doing. And, uh, and tell you the reason I hadn't had any videos up, man, it don't look good right now. I mean, not like it was looking. Show it on. Drop off the edge of another, I'm getting another bite, and we're gonna try to start a new little area. Seems like that's what you get a couple and they leave, and then you got to move to about 100 yards to get another, another little area and start again. Seems like that's what we got to do. I'm trying to figure these things out. You got to come up with something different all the time. If you don't, you you left out in the cold. After a while, the fishing changes. You can tear like last year. We tore them up on the gulp shrimp. I mean, we whacked them. They might not even bite a gulp shrimp this year. That's the way it works. So every year, you got to come up with something different that they hadn't seen. And I might have to go to my tackle box and come up with something different that they won't. Or a new approach, something. They just not hitting like they were. Last year, they'll bite. They'll bite. One nine, huh? They'll bite. And like I say, they quit biting in one little area. You might can move 50 on the other side of the little ridge or something and get them going again. Maybe. No guarantee. We gonna work this little ridge on the other side and working in. We're starting out at 64 foot, and we're going to work it in up to 50 something to see if we can find some more fish. We're going to head down our honey hole and hope the sun down there. There's one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's an old catfish, I believe. I'm not sure about that. That's a pretty nice fish, whatever it is. Could be a cat. Might be a big perch, too. Might be a nice perch. I don't think it's a bass. Nah, it's a big perch. Look at that. Now that, my friend, is a super dog jumbo magnum perch buddy. Huh? I'm gonna have to bring this one to the camera. This is a good one. Hey, this is what I call a super dog jumbo magnum perch, and you have got to love it. The old fisherman has done it again with a big old perch. How about that, people? Let's go back and catch another. What? He hit the dog on chartreuse and uh, pink. Drop him back down. So we can get another. Maybe we we'll catch some more of them jumbo magnum. As the eggs fill up in them, they gonna go. Them bigger ones are gonna move in, start getting ready to spawn and feed up. And that usually happens in the next month. And uh, that's when you really start catching the big ones on these hunts. And uh, hopefully that happens again this year. Ain't no guarantee, like I say. Every year is different. Every year is different. All we're doing, and I'm looking at something that looks like trees now, and I hope that ain't trees. Because I sure don't want to get hung up in a tree. I sure don't want to get hung up in a tree. 63 foot. You get over 60 foot in this lake, you might get on a tree. And that's that simple. 
Them old big perch sometimes I hang around them doggone trees now. Tell you. Hey ya. Hey ya. Hey ya. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Huh. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's an okay one. He ain't that great, but he's okay. He's a keeper. Keepers go in the box. What? Drop a back down to the bottom with a big boy's life. What we doing here today? Holy myself. I want to give a shout out to my wife. She works so hard. She uploads these videos for me and she keeps track of all these t-shirts and stuff. I want to give a shout out. Without her, I don't, you wouldn't see the old fisherman. He, he wouldn't be doing this on film anyway. He'd be doing it, but he would, nobody wouldn't know what he's doing. And uh, I want to give a shout out to her, Miss Deborah, love of my life. And I want to definitely give a shout out to her. I appreciate, appreciate everything she does for the old fisher. You know, I keep saying I'm gonna get me another boat, but this old boat keeps going. I guess until something happens to this boat, I reckon I'd get another one. But I kinda like this old boat. I really don't need another boat. It don't look pretty. Hey, but it gets the job done. You got to love getting the job done. Come on now, don't quit now. They bite slow. Hey, it's gonna be a slow day. I can see it, but it's, hey, at least we're getting a bite. It was so bad Monday and Tuesday, anything's better than nothing, let me tell you. I've learned to appreciate any kind of bite after Monday and Tuesday. For me to come over here and get stumped like I did, it was un very unusual. Very unusual. Now when I got up six foot, I ain't getting a bite. Sometimes you got to take it in that circle swing, I'm telling you. We struggling to get y'all a video, that's for sure. Somebody said, we don't care if you catch them or not, give us a video. Well, I don't want to sit out here and talk and not catch any fish at all. <laughs> that don't work. Hey, if I cut my film like everybody else, I can do a video every day. I can give you the highlights of the day. But I hate to do that, and I really don't have time to do all that editing. So, so this is why we do it like we do. And uh, to edit it with this phone, you got to go to have a special app. I, I've been told you can do it, but I ain't. Listen, I ain't making enough money to do all that work. It's bad enough just putting this stuff on video and trying to tell my secrets. I'm about to run out of secrets. I got to find some more secrets. I got to adapt. It looks like to find something else they'll bite. You know, last year we started, and uh, we started with the with a gulp shrimp, then we ended up going with a daggone catching catfish on a gulp shrimp, deep water just yo-yo and one jig. Then we went to the Mr. Crappy worked pretty good last year. Caught a few crappies and uh, on some deep, on, on, up in the old cove up there. It ain't gonna be long, I gotta get up there and try it out. They were slow, but there was some nice crappies I caught up in there, a few. You ain't gonna hammer them crappies in this lake no more, I don't believe. There's enough in here to hammer. I started to see a few fish in it, but I ain't getting no bite. When I first caught it out there, it was pretty good. We're going to have to let you go in a minute. We'll start another video, but I want to get a little clip out showing it what I was doing and talking a little bit about what, what was happening. And hopefully I'll get two or three videos today. Put several on. Y'all like that? Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh. They just slow, that's all this do it, but they're pretty nice ones. There's some pretty good ones out here. That's a good one right there. So, hey, you got to love that. You got to love it when you catch a pretty good one. It ain't no faster you throw it out, but hey, that's a good perch right there, people. Hey, look at that. Caught him on the daggone slider jig. That's a good perch. That perch right there close to a pound. That's a good one. That's a good one. Double back down. Catch another one. I want to shout out all my kin folks up in Spartanburg and Hendersonville, North Carolina, Joyce Moore, my sister. Uh, I want to shout out to her and Brandy Joe, my my niece. Always a pleasure to see them and my and my sisters and and, and brother and uh, Chapin, South Carolina, Donald Cumberland and Shirley Fulmer, my brother and sister. So. 
Shout out to all of them. Old fishermen. I want y'all to know I'm out here enjoying life again on Lake Monticello. I'm gonna tell you, you come over here and you used to tearing fish up, catching them every day, and then you come over here and you have two days like Monday and Tuesday. You start doubting yourself, hey, what happened to the old fisherman? He can't catch them anymore. And that's the, the mind control I keep telling y'all you got to have. When you get there and you can't catch them, yeah, it's hard to stay focused, especially when you used to, you think you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you can't catch them. Uh, it's what you call one of them bad days. Well, let me tell you something. It is one challenge to keep focused and keep mind control because the old fisherman found out Friday I mean, Monday and Tuesday, that he can lose focus, too. When them fish ain't biting, you fish for about an hour and you don't get a bump, you start you losing your focus. And uh, it just it, it, sometimes you can come out of it. Sometimes you can find you a fish or two to catch and make things better. But you can watch me. When I ain't catching them, I lose my focus. And uh, it takes me a little while to get my focus back, but it takes getting that focus to be able to catch these fish. You can't just not think about what's going on with your jigs and, your, and everything. You got to, you got to mentally, mentally put your mind right there with that plug that you work and, and know what it's doing and focus on what it's doing and what you want it to do to be able to get a bite when they ain't wanting a bite. And they're not really there yet. See that? Oh, we got all doggone. See how I focused a little bit and caught him? I'm telling you, them jokers, they're not that easy to catch unless they're eating it up. And they don't eat it up all the time. So you out here, you fishing and you ain't catching. And you find yourself losing focus. When you start losing focus, then you're in trouble. <coughs> you won't catch them. You go too fast, you don't work your plugs right, you, you just lose mental control over what you're doing. Mind control is the most important thing in life. I don't care what you're doing. You have got to focus and be able to adapt and iron out situations and try to figure things out. There ain't no guarantee that's going to happen, but you got to try for it and make it happen. Right now, these fish ain't biting worth a two, but we caught a few. And after Monday and Tuesday, a few is a lot to me. Hey, Wednesday, too. Yesterday, I went, I ain't go long at Lake Murray. I rode and rode and looked and looked and fished and fished and caught three stripers and one perch. That was it. So you can have a bad day. I don't care who you are. Bill Dance has a bad day. He just don't put that on the fence. Alright, now, now I'm getting frustrated. Losing my focus. I had that one on his bit. Got off. Now I'm at 55 foot of water, so I come up a little shallow. I might have come up too shallow. I might need to be out off the edge a little bit more. A big area out here, people. Them fish can be laying anywhere. I'll tell you what, let's do. Ain't no guarantee it'll work, but let's tell you what, let's do. I'm going to take that double rig with just an ultralight and see if we can get one to bite that before I let y'all go. Oh, I see what was wrong. See, my tail's, my tail's crooked. Your tail's crooked on your jig, you ain't gonna catch nothing. I can tell you that. Hey, you ain't gonna catch nothing. But I said I was gonna do it, and I'll put the double in. I also I had a broom straw on my on my bumping spoon. So see those couple things made a difference. See if we can get this thing untangled here. And uh and put these two slider jigs out there by themselves and see if we can I don't have to triple ripple on. And drop it down, see if we can catch one on that right quick. And then I'm going to let y'all go, and I'm going to start another video in a minute, try to get a better video. But I want to show you what we're doing and do a little talking. On Lake Monticello, the old fisherman, trying to get his focus back and get in the groove on these fish. Get in the groove. It's all about believing, believing in yourself, believing you can make it happen, and believing them fish will bite. And that's the focus I'm talking about. you got to believe. If you don't believe, it ain't going to happen. It ain't gonna happen if you don't believe. So, hey, you got to believe. They might not hit this double rig because it don't stay down there long enough. And I think this cold weather, they're not gonna run up after it five or six foot and hit it like they did in the summer. So this, this method here might not work 
but I got to give it a try to make sure it don't work. Cause we caught so many on this metal. Might not work now, see? Might not work. Now I got two loons back there beeping at me. Beep, beep, beep. They're talking to the old fisherman. See, this ain't working. See, this rig here is more for a summertime rig. It ain't staying on the bottom close. Them fish are laying right on the bottom down there now. They're not suspended. And this is more of a, a suspended uh, deal right here. I'll tell you what I do have now. I got a nice phone with one jig on and a blue ice colored jig. They ain't seen this one. I had it on from Lake Murray yesterday. Let's put it out there and see what happens. See if we catch one on a bigger spoon with a blue ice jig. One jig and one spoon. So we're trying different things to see if we can get them stirred back up. Right now I'm not seeing many fish. There's the bottom. We're in 55. I'm thinking I need to get back out deeper. What I'm thinking. We got to try different things uh, to make sure we're fishing with the right thing. I'm not getting bumped now. I got in 54 foot. I need to get back out in the 60s. I caught my fish out there about 60 foot. <laughs> so we're going to get back out deeper, see what happens. I'm going to pull this trolling motor out here deeper. But I'm thinking the way to go is the three rig like we were catching them on caught a couple on, we need to get back on that. I probably need to put a bigger jig, take the slider jig off, and put two Mr. Crappies on, or either a gup shrimp or and a Mr. Crappy. It's probably what I need to do. But I'm not seeing the fish now, so we're gonna have to let you go. The video's getting long, and I apologize for not catching many, but hey, that's the way it is sometimes. I tell you, I'm surprised to catch them couple you don't know. That's how bad it was. Now, I'm getting back out here at 57. I'm starting to see a few fish. <coughs> starting to see a few fish. All right, let's drop it down right there. Let's see if we can catch one of these fish. I'm thinking maybe I'm in there too shy. I went too shy. Well, I'm thinking. But I believe we're going to catch a mess of fish today if they stay, if they keep biting. So they don't turn off. All right, there's the bottom. See if we can make one bite. And might not want this blue ice. I've used it before out here, and, and, and one time they bit good Lake Murray jig, real clear water jig. It might be a little dark today for this jig. They just ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna have to let y'all go till I get on some more fish. We'll probably move to another area and uh, stay in. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. We're pretty good up too. Hey, there's some nice ones out here. They just ain't eating it up. We got a nice one. Look at it. Got him on the spoon. The old big spoon. Stop back there. If we catch a nut. I tell you what, I don't like that blue ice. I'm gonna take that blue ice off and I'm gonna put that that uh, pink jig back on. Catch him on the old pink jig here. Gotta get him on there right though. Gotta get him on there right. He ain't gonna catch him, he ain't on there right. Alright. Put that big old spoon back out there with that pink jig on and see what happens. We done drifted out 67 foot now. Winds getting up, gloomy day, you can tell, really gloomy. 
And, uh, but hey, glad all y'all could be with me. And like I say, subscribe if you hadn't subscribed. And, uh, and I hopefully I'll get some good videos coming back in. It's getting that time of year. I know I'm going to catch them. So hopefully I get back on these fish. Hey, Monday and Tuesday, I didn't think there was no fish left. Now I see there's a few left. So, hey, that's the way it is. Come on, big boys. Hit this thing. They not wanting to bite now, I tell you. They, they coming and going. They ain't staying under me. Catch one more, I'm going to let y'all go. Hopefully I can catch one more. I guarantee you, I tell you that. You don't want to bite. They kind of slow today. They is. They is. They is. They is. They is. They ain't that big. They is. See, I got a bigger jig. Now I got a one ounce spoon with one jig. That's a little baby. I got to catch one bigger than that. And that's a loony fish. Yeah, he might make it. I don't know. Nope. Loony got him right there. Plucked him. I tell you, that loon was laying up on him out of boat. Was laying up on him out of boat. He got him. He got him breakfast. He done swallowed him down. That poor fish ain't have a chance. He done swallowed him down. All right, there's the bottom. People can't get them done. They, they bite. I tell you, I think maybe what we're doing now is going to be the way to catch them. A heavier spoon on the bottom and pulling that jig right off the bottom. Swim it like that right there. That might be the way to do it right there. Heavier jig spoon holding the jig closer to the bottom. And then when I pull it, it holds it down more weight. And therefore, we catch probably more fish. Just one jig, and they hit, look at the shad coming out the mouth. Look at the shad. That's a good sign, people. That's a good sign. I think that's what we're going to do. Might not catch, might not use but one jig and one spoon today. Drop them back down. Catch a couple more, hopefully, before we go. Hate to let y'all go down and start to bite, but I know it's getting long. I know it is. I can't see how long, but I know it's getting long. They, they bite that paint jig by the, one jig and one spoon is what they want. Less stuff down there. Might not catch two at a time, though. But they bite me. I'm getting more bites now, see? But that's what they want. One jig, one spoon. There he is. Missed it. I missed it. This little rod's a little limber for that big old spoon. There he is. There he is. That's what they want. See how they figured out what they want now. By changing around, changing different rods, till I get what they want. One jig, big spoon, hold it to the bottom more with a doggone pink jig. That's what they want. And we got a one-eighth head. Not a big old head, not a quarter, but one-eighth head with a one-ounce jig. So that's one and one-eighth ounce weight. One jig, one spoon. And it looks to me like that's the key. Right now, that looks like the key. And that's how you find out and change and uh, and work it till you figure out, get in your mind something that they bite. Once you get in your mind, you can put it to them then. See that? Bite, they biting this. They biting this, people. And we got, we got the right combination now. Seems like. They got more bites with just one jig and one big old spoon than anything yet. Now, if we can take that thing in a circle, you might have pulled my jig down. That's the only problem. That jig, this jig head don't have a good bulb on it where it, where it holds that jig, rubber jig up there real good. So he might have pulled my jig down. I ain't getting a bite now. I'm betting he pulled my jig down. Got to check it. Got to check it. See that? Pulled it down. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. See that? Pulled it down. Now, I gotta push it in, try to lock it. But that's the key right there. That heavy spoon is the key now. The heavy spoon with the two jigs might work too. That spoon is heavier than the spoon I got on my double rig. Drop it back down and see if we catch it up. Wind's really starting to whip. Alright, one jig, one spoon. 
see what we get by. 58 pool. Got a little shallower, and I noticed too they're out deeper. Every time I get in the fifties, I'm not catching that. Got to go to the sixties to get a bite. What it looks like. Got to go to the sixties to get a bite. I ain't getting a bite. Got off of them. Still, still in the fifties or fifty-seven. Pull out sixty out here. I'm thinking what I need to do is put me another one out, a one out spawn on my other rig, and have me a rod. Now, what I'm thinking. These fish are laying right out here close to them trees, right off the drop, they can start hitting a few trees. That's where they're living, right next to them trees in that, in that spot, right by the trees where it can start coming up. And you've got to visualize where you at to be able to stay on them fish like you should. Getting windier and windier. I got to let y'all go. I bet this ain't 30 minutes long. We gonna go to our honey hole down here after I leave here. Hopefully we'll make another video down there. Now I can't get a bite. Here comes the rain. Starting to rain now. I'm gonna have to let y'all go. How might I get one more? Don't look like it. Starting to rain. I'm gonna have to let y'all go. But I appreciate y'all being with me. And uh, we'll try to get a better video. It's starting to rain. Rain cloud coming right there. And uh, hey, that ain't good. I'm gonna get wet. Camera's gonna get wet. Everything's gonna get wet. But it's starting to rain, and uh, hey, we caught a couple jumbo magnum. Sure did. I'm proud of that. It wasn't 100, but it, hey, we caught one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven in here, and hey, they pretty good ones. They ain't no monster, but hey, they pretty good ones. Jumbo magnum, Lake Monticello, the old fisherman. Hey, he's trying to get y'all a video, and I appreciate y'all patience. See ya.